We're already on day five. Can you believe it? If you're just tuning in, don't worry. You can start right where you are, then circle back to days one through four for the most optimal experience. Today's habit, oh, this one is a game changer. It's a subtle thief that can undermine the very best bedtime ritual if left unchecked. Whether you're reading or doing something else, the glow, the light coming from our phones, tablets, laptops, even the lights illuminating the room, the Blu-rays coming from those sources at nighttime, this is the thief we want to guard ourselves against. We've all been there telling ourselves just 10 more minutes of scrolling, reading, what have you, only to look up and realize it's past midnight. Sounds familiar? I'm definitely guilty of this and sadly, it took the appearance of chronic fatigue syndrome for me to do something different. So let me drop a bit of science here. During the day, blue light is actually great. It's part of the sunlight that helps keep us alert and focused. But at night, that blue light is like telling our brains, hey, stay up, let's keep this party going. And that's the last thing we want before bed. We need our brains winding down to properly process, repair, and heal all the parts of us so that we can effectively handle the next day's happenings. Blue blocking glasses are my personal secret weapon against restless nights of overthinking, of mentally tossing and turning. Now maybe you've heard of these before, maybe not, but stick with me here. When I first got these, I was skeptical because chronic fatigue is a weird kind of condition. So, really? Are glasses going to help me sleep? Are they going to help with the physical pain that comes from not sleeping? Let me tell you what happened the first night I tried these. I was sitting there winding down and for the first time in a long time, I felt this soft, natural drowsiness come over me like I was actually tired, not wired. I don't know if I had forgotten what it felt like to just be naturally tired, but it was refreshing. These glasses told my brain, relax, we're done for the day. And I was asleep before I knew it. Now you might be skeptical and that's okay. Blue blocking glasses, as great as they are, they are not a one-all fix-all. They are a piece of a larger commitment to yourself to show up for your own health and a reminder that you deserve rest. These little actions aren't just hacks. They're signs that you value your well-being, that you're choosing to set boundaries for the night and say, hey, brain, it's time to turn off for a while. So here's what I want you to try tonight, and this is today's challenge ideally about an hour before bed, but hey, 15 minutes will give you pretty decent results. Put on a pair of blue blocking glasses. You can find them most anywhere these days, even at the hardware store, or order them from Amazon and have them delivered to your door before you get home from work. Keep them on, even if you're up scrolling, checking emails, doing late night chores, or in a room with lights on. Keep the glasses on for this time frame. The goal is to block out light, artificial light that tricks our bodies into thinking it's still daytime. Then pop back tomorrow, one, to share in the comments your experience. I am so excited to hear all about it. And two, to dive into day six bedtime habit. It is so luxurious. You do not want to miss it. I will see you tomorrow.